Hello, in today's video, I am so excited to share with you 10 fashion hacks that make my life so much easier. These are hacks that you can come back to in case you need them. And some of them are just fun to try for different styles. And if you forget any of them, you can always come back to the video and reference exactly what it was that I did. The very first hack that I'll start with is when you have a pair of shoes that is too small and you can no longer return. I think we've all been in this situation. We got a final sale shoe online. We thought it was our size, we got it. And then, and then we couldn't wear it. Or sometimes I had this happen to me the other day. I ordered a, a pair of boots from Zara. They were both the same size and one of them was significantly bigger than the other one. In those cases where you don't want to deal with returning or you simply can't, there is a solution. All you have to do is grab a plastic Ziploc bag and fill it with water just a little bit and put it inside the shoe where the shoe fits snugly. Now this might depend on what kind of shoe it is or your particular shape of foot. In my instance, I had a pair of Allbirds beautiful little wool sneakers that fit really well when I first put them on. And then I realized that the very front of the shoe was really snug around my toes and was going to cause all sorts of problems. I just put a Ziploc bag full of water, just a bit, put them up towards the front, kind of shaped it, left them overnight to freeze and voila, the next day, I had so much more room in there. I would suggest that you go in there and make sure that you're keeping an eye on it, maybe after a couple of hours when the water has started to freeze. And you can keep an eye on whether or not there's any weird kind of shapes going on where the water is freezing exactly where you want it to so that you get more extension in the spot of the shoe that you want. So the first hair tie hack is kind of playing around with your top, especially if they're loose. So for example, this one, this is kind of how this fits. But if I wanted to look a little bit different and maybe not even do like a half tuck with my pants, I can grab two ends here. I have kind of done a little ponytail with my hair tie on both sides. And all I got to do now is I just tuck it in like this. It creates a cute little top that isn't just kind of like hanging over uselessly. You can do the same thing as well, either with the front or just the back, just depending on the kind of look that you want. So you can do this and just like tuck it in like that or you can do the same thing to the back and tuck it in like this. The other fashion hack that I absolutely love is using my hair tie to change the look of my blazer sleeves. So you can see here, they look really, really different. They kind of have a cute little rolled up look that looks very chic, especially for these warmer months when you want to spring up your outfits, maybe have a little bit of wrist showing, or if you have some nice bracelet or watch that you want to show off, it's really, really helpful in completely transforming your blazer. Another really helpful way to use the hair tie is if you're in these hotel rooms or even if you don't have another hanger at home that can hang on to these cute little slip dresses and everything just kind of falls off very easily. You can just tie the hair ties around the hanger and you have immediately a little traction so that your favorite dresses and slip dresses and things have some traction and they won't fall off. For all of you Sex in the City fans that are watching and just like that, Carrie Bradshaw ends every episode by saying, and just like that, something, something, something that's always so poetic and fashionable and all the good things. So I jumped on a TikTok trend recently where it was using the voiceover and just like that, I realized that some things are never meant to be kept in storage, right? That was her line. So I grabbed my big ball gown, I put it on, and I was eating chips because that was the whole thing. Like you were supposed to like kind of like sit out a window and like eat something. I, don't, I think all these people that jumped on the trend could handle that. Apparently I couldn't. I grabbed the tortilla chips. I was fine. And then I didn't stop there. I didn't just take off the dress like a normal TikToker would do if she were careful with her clothes. Instead, I went on my own private little cocktail party and I went into the pantry. I grabbed some really oily nuts that were like full of truffle oil and I just popped them in my mouth and then boom, I had oil all over my beautiful pink satin dress. And then I remembered that my grandmother would say that if you ever get oil or grease, butter on a satin or silk garment, you have to put baby powder on there, let it sit for a little bit and pat it down and it will be gone. So I don't have baby powder because I think baby powder, I think it was shown that it's actually really bad for your lungs, but I'll leave that for a different time. In place so i use some some face powder that i use because i'm so shiny all the time <laughs> face powder to pat it down i left it sitting there and lo and behold voila 
it was gone. Similarly, if you ever get blood on clothes, what gets it right out is spitting on it. So I hope you never have blood anywhere, but if you that ever happens to you, and this is really nasty, but it gets the blood out of the clothes. So those two hacks are so, are like lifesavers. So definitely remember those. I think those are hard to forget because they're a little dramatic, right? By the way, if you're having fun with me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm Ziva Lennox and I love covering fashion and styling videos. The next fashion hack is for when your dress is too big. This happens a lot in sweater dresses or like beautiful bodycon dresses that maybe over time start to lose their shape a little bit. I have this gorgeous knit dress that over time started, the waist started to get like a little bit wonky. And so this is a great way to cinch it up at the waist and create a little bit of an hourglass shape. All you need is a bracelet, like a hardwired, I think all of us have something like this, a hard circle bracelet and a hair tie. So I'll show you here on the screen what I did with my dress, but I'll show you as well on here so you just put the bracelet right wherever you want to create the shape right it's a cute shape that occurs so you grab it like this and voila you've got a little shape here that you can put anywhere obviously you could use this on the top as well i think it works beautifully with these knit dresses so try it out this next fashion hack is how to take your button down from work to play so i'll put it here on the screen what you do but it's very very simple and you can see here that this top is a little bit bigger and a little bit longer than the one that I'm using here to show you what it is. But all you gotta do is you gotta keep a couple of buttons buttoned up here, depending on how much you wanna show up here. And then take each end, loop it across diagonally, tuck it into your bra, and likewise on the other way. You've got a super cute work to play look to work with. Next up we have the trousers that look really baggy with the boots like this. So an easy way to solve it is by simply tucking in your trusty trousers. A better tucked in look versus like a really baggy, kind of can't squeeze it in there quite well enough. So that's my favorite hack with wearing knee high boots. I love wearing knee high boots and I also love wearing straight leg trousers. So that's one of my favorite fashion hacks. Sometimes pants can be very difficult to fit if you have a small waist, but you have a big booty or bigger hips like I do. Sometimes the waist can be a little bit big because I'm trying to get my thighs and my hips into the pair of pants. If that happens to you and you want that nice, beautiful hourglass shape with a very fitted waist, the only thing you need is a string to tie in the back loop. Ideally, they can be very symmetrical. You can just tie in the back, double knot it, and then just make it as tight as you want to fit in the way that you'd like, because that is a problem. Very easy fix. Most of the time we can cover it with our shirt or a belt. And so there you have it. Level up your coat tying with these two ways. First is a simple loop knot. Tie at the center and make sure you have even lengths. Take the top tie and loop under the bottom tie. Put the top one through the little loop it creates. Adjust and tighten. Secondly, you can tie the vertical bow for a more feminine vibe. Tie both strands at center and loop both sides evenly. Tie a bow working to keep both ends even and hinging so it's horizontal. Slide over to either side for a chic look. The next fashion hack is when you have one of these belts and suddenly you realize that for whatever reason, it's either too loose now because of time it got worn out or maybe just you lost some LBs. Hey, it happens, right? And then suddenly you got this situation. So really easy to do. Just tie it over like this and try to make it as centered as possible. And then just create a nice little triangle like this. So you've got a cute little shape. I did this the other day. I had this beautiful red maxi dress that I really wanted to wear. And it was gonna look so much better belted. And I really wanted to wear this particular one. And so it worked out so well because it was nice and snug and it wasn't like all wonky and loose. If you have fun with me today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and more importantly, share with a friend who loves fashion hacks as much as you do. Have a fantastic day and I hope to see you really soon.